tens of thousands of women will be diagnosed with stage zero breast cancer this year. Team 10 investigator Adam Mercusen is asking questions about a new trial that could settle the controversy over whether to treat or not treat the disease. Early on in my career, I just, somehow I just gravitated toward this. More than 20 years later, Dr. Christina Castile is still leading the fight against breast cancer. I take it home with me. It's hard. It's really hard just because I can relate. Now the medical director of the Breast Health Center at Sharp Memorial Hospital, Dr. Castile is embarking on a clinical trial aimed at making the hard and emotionally challenging decisions a little easier. For the longest time, there was a trend of what more, what more, what more can we do? And now it's like, what can we back away from and maybe not be so aggressive? The trial called Comet is focused on ductal carcinoma in situ or DCIS. It's estimated around 60,000 people are diagnosed with DCIS each year, stage zero breast cancer. It makes up about one in five breast cancer cases. According to Dr. Castile, the current national guideline is to treat it. We treat it aggressively. We treat it very similarly to the way that we treat invasive cancer. The randomized trial will look at the risks and benefits of active surveillance, a watch and wait approach compared to what many experience now, surgery. Are we harming women? by doing surgery that in the long run maybe isn't necessary. And that's the answer that we're after here. The results of the study could be a game changer for how DCIS is treated, giving women the most information for the best outcome. Look at how far we've come with all sorts of things and concerns to breast cancer. And it's all based upon these clinical trials. That's where we need to get those answers so that we can change what we're doing. Okay, right now, Sharp is one of three places in California signed on to participate. The trial is being headed up at Duke University. To participate, it has to be a low-grade DCIS, and the woman has to be over the age of 40. I'll have more information about this study, some of the more medical terms that you can see on this website right behind me. We'll post that on our website. Just go ahead and look for my story. Adam Rakusen, Team 10.